Hello, good day. Hello, is it Jake you're looking for? No. So the aim is to demonstrate that old hardware such as laptops and PCs can be made faster, more responsive again by reinstalling the operating system, but onto a solid state drive rather than the hard drive that's already in the machine. Now, people always ask me, is it worth going to a solid state drive or buying a new computer first? And nine times out of 10, yes, you're gonna notice a huge difference if you buy a whole new system with a solid state drive, uh, with a faster processor, faster RAM, uh, a more, more modern motherboard, and obviously support for SATA 6, and, and more gigabits per second, throughput speed, and read and write speed. But nine times out of 10, you're still gonna notice a huge difference on older hardware, such as laptops that are 10 years old. You know, as long as you've got SATA, um, SATA, SATA support, uh, SATA 2 onwards, you should be fine. So let's go ahead, I've got a standard hard drive and a solid state drive that I'm going to show the differences in speed and performance with the same version of uh, 8.1 Pro on this old Toshiba laptop which I'll show. So this is the laptop we're going to be using to demonstrate the differences. It's the Toshiba Satellite Pro L300D. It has an AMD Athlon X2 64-bit CPU. It's a dual-core processor. We're going to be putting Windows 8.1 onto these two hard drives. So there's the hard drive that was in there already and the solid state Kingston HyperX drive. We're going to use the data stick to install it. It has two gig of RAM. And then I'll just show the differences in the experience and how much quicker it is with a solid state drive, even though this hardware is sort of seven years old, made in 2007, 2006, something like that. So it's not a new piece of hardware at all. We're doing the standard hard drive first, which is in the machine as we speak. Okay, 14 minutes to the personalization screen. And after 18 minutes, we are on the Metro welcome screen here, the start menu. As you can see, at the desktop, there's the start menu. Okay, we're going for the system boot speed. It's getting there. Welcome in. Jacques Guillaume. As you can see, quite a slow boot time. Nothing's even installed on this thing yet. And there's the desktop screen there, as you can see. It took 52 seconds. Okay, the next test is the speed, in, speed of office installation test. So again, I'm gonna start the timer off here. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll pause the video and keep the timer running and can continue when it's finished. Almost there now. Five, almost six minutes in. Okay, so just under eight minutes to install Office 2013 Professional. Next test is the applications from Linux Installer. We're gonna install some individual applications to the laptop, just to see out of interest how long it takes to do them and compare the, the two speeds. So I'm just gonna select a few things from this list and go ahead and see how long it takes to install them. Okay, run. Started. Okay, to install those applications, it took a grand total of eight minutes. All right, last test. I'm gonna time the amount of time it takes to launch Chrome, Adobe Reader, uh, words and IE all at the same time and when they're all loaded and functioning then we can uh, pause the timer so let's get cracking so start Chrome reader IE word <laughs> word is beginning to launch coming into view Making it go as quick as it can. So Adobe Reader's on the screen, and we can use it almost. Yep, yeah, I'll tell you about now. There we go. Adobe Reader, so close that. Chrome's ready. Mm. 
And there we go. And then finally, there we go. Grand total of one minute twenty seconds. Right, that's that one. Steve. After 11 minutes, we're at the personalization screen. 13 minutes, we're on the start menu here. Okay, SSD Windows 8.1 boot speed. Here we go. Let's time this then. Oh yeah. SSD boot speed. Starting now. <laughs> oh, he's mad, that Jake. Oh, look at that. 15 seconds, 20 seconds on the desktop. Look at that. We're going for the Office Pro 2013 installation speed. Go. I'll be back. Five, six minutes, done. Hey, Ninit installer next, the exact same apps. Let's go ahead and see what this, how long this takes to do. Go. I'll check back in a second when it's done. We're done, 620. And the final speed test, uh, Chrome, Adobe Reader, IE and Word. So let's go, so. Okay, all four applications have been launched. First of all, we've got IE in the background there. Word, straight away you can see it's a lot more snappier than the, the hard drive was. That's Word, opened. Chrome, opened. Adobe Reader, opened. IE, opened. In under 30 seconds. So to summarize, I think we can honestly see there's a massive difference in speed, snappiness, reliability, performance, everything, responsiveness, uh, between the solid state drive and the hard drive. I mean, if you, I, I added up the times um, between everything we've done, so the, the get to the personalization screen, the installation to the start menu, the boot speed, installing the Ninit apps, uh, opening the apps from the desktop, uh, and then the office install. And when you add it all up, you actually saved over 12 minutes. Okay, that's in an hour, so Okay, if you relate that to everyday use of the computer, you're looking at saving a lot of time just doing general things, you know. Just over 50 minutes on the, on the standard hard drive to, to do everything that we've done today, so everything listed before this, and 38 on the solid state drive. So you can see there's obvious differences there, and I think it's plain to see that it way outperforms it, and you know, th this is a good, a good opportunity to sort of upgrade anything um, that's sort of performing quite slowly. Uh, rather than just reinstalling on the hard drive, you could just do the solid state hard drive instead. And you, you know, see a massive performance increase. Anyway, I hope this has helped you guys. And any questions, just ask. Please like and subscribe to the videos. And I'll catch you next time. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm Jake Billing. And I'll see you later for the next video. If you want any videos, let me know. And I'll see you soon. See ya! With. I can't do it, Paul. I just can't do it anymore. I hate this freaking thing. Ah, oh, you know what, Paul? Your phone, mate. Your phone went to sleep on me. I can't even make it. <laughs> it's Halloween. Have a nice day. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what's wrong?